guys, welcome back to Magic TV. My name's Craig, it's six o'clock, it's time for a Magic Live, and today I'm gonna be performing a routine for you. Um, it, it's basically um, the move from Guy Hollingworth's Waving the Aces, which if you don't know is amazing, it's in Drawing Room Deceptions, um, a, a wonderful book, wonderful book. But anyway, uh, it's that move, but applied to the Hofsinger Ace problem. Um, so you're only doing the move once, you're not doing it as a kind of a twisting the Aces style routine, you're doing it as once, uh, and the nice thing about using that move once uh, in the context of what I'm doing here is it allows you to have the card turn over and automatically switch it for the selection at the same time. So one move is doing two things, which is great economy of motion. Uh, you'll see what I mean when I perform the routine. Sarah, uh, oh, and the other thing, this is a shuffle deck in use, so it's anytime, anywhere. I've got Sarah behind the camera. How are you doing, Sarah? Hey. Cool. Uh, <laughs> you sound thoroughly bored. Just so you know, just to catch you guys up, how many how many magic lives have we filmed so far today? Twenty something. <laughs> Twenty something. So Sarah's getting to a point right now where she's just she's a little bit disinterested. Sarah's shopping on Amazon whilst <laughs> filming. I'm multitasking. <laughs> Just shuffle. <laughs> the last, just shuffle. The last thing that Sarah wants to see is another trick, but that's what she's going to see. She's going to see Yay. another trick right now. I know, right? I know. Um, Sarah, so it's really important that you realise that this is a free choice because that's one of the beautiful things about this. Um, so right. do me a favour. Just, just, just. I don't know. Just say stop anytime you want to. I really don't want to see the card. Uh, stop. Cool. Can you have a look at that and check it out? Yeah, and I can see it. Yep. Can you see it? Is that okay? okay. Uh, just say stop. Up. Cool, we're going to put the card uh, right back there. And again, one more time. Can everyone see it okay? Yeah. Good. Uh, I'm going to leave it sticking out. In fact, you know what I'll do? I'll just put it a little bit further down. So it's kind of near the bottom. Is that fair? Yeah. Somewhere in there. Okay, cool. So you had a free choice, correct? And I took the queens out. I know you didn't pick a queen because I took the queens out from the deck before we even began. I'm going to put the deck over there. The queens are going to help me find your card, which I know sounds ridiculous, but I want you to watch um, very carefully. Watch the queens, don't blink. The queens are gonna help you find your card. Uh, do you know the suit of the card and the value of the card, Sarah? Of my card, yeah. Yeah, so it makes sense that because there's four queens here, one of these queens has the same suit as the card that you're picking, is that right? Yeah. Watch the queens, don't blink. Can you see them there? If I just shake, what happens is one card and one card only turns face down, which is the queen of diamonds. That tells me that your card is a diamond. Is that right? Yes. Um, which is good. But if I do this, it tells me what your card is. You see, if I flick it, it's, uh, is it the king of diamonds? Yes. Yeah, but do you know what happens if I flick it one more time? It actually turns into your <laughs> king of diamonds it's just a nice really simple routine um that's just a great way of using the sort of the waving the aces uh move that if you know it you can apply it to this sort of thing very very easily uh, let me know in the comments down below what you think also very important don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you like the video if, if you want to see more videos like this like the video and i'll be back again tomorrow with another magic live i'll see you then thanks very much for watching